FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Let's... That is um, the one and only Chris Arps in the studio now. How are you, my friend? I'm great. I got a surprise for you. You like my controversy? I, I did. That's that was, right. How long See, did, thank you. How long did it take you to come I up with that? I worked on it all morning. Thank I got you. a surprise for you. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Oh, does he have a... He has a He's got a hat with a Trump button on the front of it. Make America great again. Is that right? Nice. Yeah. Nice. I challenged you to wear something like you that did. today, this didn't is, I? This is my pre-April Fool's 2017 <laughs> oh, right? joke. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, you put it on the front of a Cardinal's hat, didn't you? <laughs> exactly. I see that. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah, very nice. Show it to your, uh, you, you, you're streaming uh, live there on Facebook, it uh, looks like. So make America great again. You'll have to show it there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This I'm, this uh, t- so so this today is is how the president used his bully pulpit. I don't know if you heard this or not to uh, to to s- lash out against a man who, if he gets elected, erases the president's legacy. What there is of it in about uh, thirty days. I think the Re- uh, Republican nominee is unfit uh, to serve as president. Uh, I said so last week, and uh, he keeps on proving. It. Has no problem with a FBI investigated former Secretary of State, but he's got a problem with Donald Trump. Oh, well, he's a different party. Well, yeah, but my point is he shouldn't act so high and mighty about Trump being unfit to serve because of some controversy that was engineered by the Democrats. He's he's simp- it's his comment is completely self serving, and he acts like he would never he would never have felt that way about George W. Bush, who he called anything but a dog because of the problems he inherited from him, or any of his other challenges. He wouldn't have felt that way about John McCain or or Mitt Romney. He would never have said that about them, but he's got to say it now because his term is up, and his only option is Hillary Clinton. And I. I think there may be a little something with that birth certificate thing still lingering. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't that, want one of them to get yeah, in. That and may be yet. still oh, lingering. Yeah. You know, he may be a little sore over that still. Yeah, direct your comments to Christopher Arps <laughs> at birther.com. I'm just teasing you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying he may be a little, you know, he may be still a little angry about that. And, yeah, know, that's he's, true. He's doing his duty, being partisan to get Hillary in there. So Could be. I'm not mad at him. I know. But, you know, I, I saw you on Facebook yesterday going off on this the whole controversy with the cons. I want to know your take on it. I was expressing my opinion. I well, I will agree going, with that. I'm just saying. Off. Okay. Look, I... A lot of people love it when Donald says things and, and defends himself. I get that. But with this controversy here, all that you're doing is just ginning up the 40 percent of the Republican base that voted for you during the primary. But the rest of the Republican base and the country at large, this is not doing anything for them. All they're seeing is here's a man that's attacking a gold star family. All the other stuff, this isn't fair. The media is not concentrating on the other people that's going out one ear out the other people aren't listening to that what they're listening to is the clinton campaign talking point that he's attacking a gold star family because that's simply not true Whatever he stood up and talked about at that convention had nothing to do with the death of his son. Donald Trump had nothing to do with the death of his son. Donald Trump made the point that if it had been up to him, they wouldn't have been in Iraq in the first place, so his son might not have died, if you want to go back that far in history. But but, but my argument is the cons opened themselves up to this criticism, and they now can't act like we're just going to we're just going to go back to our regular life and act like that didn't happen because Donald Trump is not the kind of guy that you can punch in the nose and not expect to get punched back. And, and you know, this man's a lawyer, and he's used to sparring in court, and I think he understood that. But you know, I don't think they were expecting Donald Trump to to question why his wife wasn't speaking on the stage and is it sharia and all that i mean he didn't mention crosses, sharia all that well although this guy has uh, f- has fought for sharia around the country around the world that's his right well sure it's his right I, but I, it's I also his right for people to know that uh, sure sure i don't so uh, yeah, that's why i'm going to have Walid shabbat on her uh, a little later in the show because he's the one that uncovered all this i mean he speaks arabic and he he read some of the documents that this guy's written when he was still working in saudi arabia my, my point is and and eric trump has said it and 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 pence has said it and donald trump has said it they have nothing but respect for the fact that their their son gave his life to this in the in the cause of freedom 
It, th- that's not the issue here. This has nothing to do with him being a gold star family. This has to do with this guy standing up at the Democratic convention, probably at the urging of Hillary Clinton, waving around his little copy of the pocket constitution and challenging whether Donald Trump's ever read the U.S. Constitution. It was insulting and he he's getting now whatever he deserves for questioning Trump on that. Well, I, I just think this is just an issue where you lose more than you win with this. People are always going to see that this is a gold star family and these people are being unfairly to them being criticized. I, I just don't think you get past that. Maybe not. I wish he hadn't brought up the mother. I really do. But but beyond that, people at least need to know the motivation because Eric Trump is right. Pat Smith got 70 seconds of coverage, which is less than a minute and a half, if you do your math, a minute and 10 seconds of coverage on the networks for the speech she gave at the RNC. And these people were trumpeted at the DNC, and the bite was played a thousand times for hope that it would poke holes in Donald Trump until he finally couldn't take it anymore, and he he took the bait. Well, when are we as conservatives going to learn we're never going to get a fair shake from the media and that we have to be proactive and not open ourselves up to things like this? I mean, regardless of what you feel about what what, uh, Trump said about uh, the cons, all this is doing is it's dividing the party because you're going to have the Fifth Avenue Trumpers. That's what I call them. That you, they could be shot on Fifth Avenue. They still support him. <laughs> and then you have the people that are not for him, and you're just turning them off. And you're having uh, Republican officials have to go on television. But and see, radio. they just need to shut their traps. See, when 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 when. Um Paul Ryan has said he's better off with Donald Trump as president than he is than he is uh, Hillary Clinton. And Mitch McConnell has said as much the same. You expect people like McCain, who is the biggest rhino in the United States, uh, to come out and say things like he said. But beyond that, the rest of them should have just kept their trap shut and said, I respect the Gold Star family. I have nothing, no comment on the Trump controversy. Why should they keep their mouth shut then when the the media is going to, every five minutes is going to be coming up to them saying, do you agree with what Trump said? What do you believe about this? This Well, if you don't say anything, you must believe this too. They have to what, defend, the, they But have they're to creating the controversy. They have to defend themselves. They're, they're crea- are, you gonna, are you going to be compared to what he's saying? I just think they're they're creating the controversy. Eric, uh, you're on the air with Mark Cox and Chris Arps. Hey, Mark. Hey, Chris. How you guys doing today? Hey, great, great. First and foremost, I want to say that I have the utmost respect for the Khan family and their sacrifice. I served in the Marine Corps, so I know. But I, I, I got to tell you, Mark, you nailed it right on the head. This guy has no business getting up there, referencing his loss of his son, and then attacking Donald Trump for something Donald Trump had nothing to do with. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he, he, he caused it. I mean, that, that, that was my point. I think the main... I mean, it, 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 it's shameful. It's remarkable. I, I told your screener, it's disgusting. And, and to carry it this far and to keep throwing it up in, in the media, because, you know, the Clinton News Network will jump all over it. <laughs> Every other network has too, unfortunately, <laughs> Eric. Thanks for the call. The cons are put on that stage because Donald Trump said last year that he wanted to ban all Muslims. And here, and they, they were put on that stage because they are Muslims. Their son is a Muslim who died in defense of this country. And I think what they were trying to illustrate to the, to the public was, here, my son died for his country and is a hero. And if we would have followed Donald Trump's uh, thing, he wouldn't have never even been allowed that's in not, this country. That's not, but that's, that's, what, they not were, that's what they're trying what to illustrate. That's what Trump said, and it, he since revised those comments anyway. Well, of course you're going about to about what his policy would be. Well, if it's causing but his an policy storm, makes common sense. But but every five minutes he's like, "Well, I didn't mean that. This is what I meant. Here's a retraction." <laughs> of course. And he's saying this, folks, as he wears a Donald Trump hat with a button on the front of it that says "Trump, Make America Great Again." I just want to point that out. Happy April Fool's Day, <laughs> 2017. Stop. Stop. You're listening to the Mark Cox Show. We're gonna. Take a quick break now. More with the Chris Arps and your phone calls. 314-969-9797. Go to at Mark Cox 971 at Tony Colombo 971. Vote in our Twitter poll on the Missouri gubernatorial primary before time is up. Do it now.